The OV-7, formerly known as the LVTP-7, stands as a robust amphibious tracked vehicle primarily designed to facilitate troop landings on open beaches, thus necessitating its seaworthiness and corresponding scale. Conceived as a successor to the LVTP-5 series, the LVTP-7 prototype emerged in 1967, with production initiated during 1970-1971, renamed the OV-7 in 1985. Over 1,500 units were produced by the cessation of production, serving not only the U.S. Marines but also seven export clients, including Argentina, Brazil, Italy, South Korea, Spain, and Thailand. Initially slated for replacement by a next-gen amphibious combat vehicle, the OV-7A1, a new expeditionary fighting vehicle was proposed. However, it wasn't adopted by the U.S. Marine Corps due to funding constraints, leaving the aging OV-7S in active service. Refurbished and upgraded OV-7S are expected to remain operational until 2035. Manning the OV-7 are a crew of three, commander, gunner, and driver. Its capacious troop compartment accommodates up to 25 Marines or around 4,500 kilograms of supplies, with troops seated on benches and access via a large rear-mounted ramp or roof hatches. Launched from amphibious assault ships, the OV-7 is self-deploying and engineered for forced entry into semi-aquatic zones. During amphibious assaults, its primary role is to spearhead beach landings and secure coastlines for advancing troops. Once ashore, it performs various functions including checkpoint guarding, patrolling, troop, and supply transport further inland. Constructed with a welded aluminum armor hull, the OV-7 boasts superior rigidity over steel, necessitating fewer reinforcing structures and offering a more spacious interior. Its armor provides defense against small arms fire and artillery shell splinters, with an add-on armor kit available for enhanced protection against landmines and improvised explosive devices. Equipped with a small turret, the original OV-7 featured a 12.7mm heavy machine gun, later augmented with a 40mm automatic grenade launcher on the improved OV-7A1 model. While heavier turrets with 20 or 30mm cannons underwent testing, they were ultimately not adopted. The OV-7's front-mounted engine initially housed a Detroit Diesel 8 V53T turbocharged diesel engine generating 400 horsepower and boasting multi-fuel capability. Subsequently, the improved OV-7A1 model replaced it with a Cummins diesel engine. Water propulsion is facilitated by two rear-mounted water jet units or by spinning tracks, granting the vehicle seaworthiness up to sea state 3.